is it working okay hi guys and welcome to this game over here enter the gungeon uh, i decided to go back over here and have a small playthrough of um, this game since it has been recently updated and you know just to go and uh, uh as a sort of reminder of what this game is or has been and um, to uh, give it a small uh, playthrough for uh, you guys and to um you know mark whatever has been uh, updated now obviously as you might notice i have i've never been the best at this game i i as you can notice from over here i only managed to finish it once um effectively oh yeah you can pet the dog ain't that just um nice with the if you play as the hunter that is so um yeah like i said never been the very best player at this game but it is a roguelike game and it's always nice to go back to it from time to time and uh, since there's been a new update might as well make it a small playthrough for youtube um already bought everything i had with the hegemony credits you know the, the advantage is, is that this video is not gonna be very long because i'm not very good at the game and it's extremely unlikely that i'll be able to you know finish it like even the one time that i did finish it i only managed to finish it you know the regular finish that all the way to the high dragon i have never managed to make it to the leech i haven't completed the bullet to kill the past and i haven't killed the past of any of the characters i haven't unlocked the special characters let alone the secret one so uh yeah it's true that I haven't invested nearly as much time into it either. If I had invested more time, then probably I would have had a better performance. But, then again, it is what it is. Let's uh, reduce the volume just a little bit. Something like that should be fine like i just could barely hear myself while i was talking okay i wanted to check if you can pet him while in the game as well so that's a new enemy for example the dynamite one uh is a new one that explodes into multiple explosions the books aren't there are new items obviously there are some new um mechanics that you know with a little bit of a hope now god damn it didn't I, I was so surprised by the green book that i haven't like seen before that i got myself hit right anyhow so like i said new characters uh that you obviously need to unlock a few new mechanics, the most notable one is the new synergy mechanic that um, basically if you get a certain combination of items it unlocks uh, synergies which... Uh, my god, this guy is a veteran makes it... Uh, makes the items significantly uh, more powerful and you definitely want to get that there's a new secret floor and boss the rat uh you know the one that keeps stealing your shit if you leaving uh, leave them behind well now you can actually fight him and get all your stuff back from him not not get all the stuff back but oh my god i want that key thank you they have increased the drop rate that's also a thing that you know is pretty cool especially of those like uh, random crystal lizard sort of enemies, you know, like the key one. There's also a new one that drops like armor and stuff. But yeah, it uh, even with all the benefits that many veteran players of, of the Gungeons have complained about as being, you know, making the game easy, it's still not easy enough for me. It played like once before recording this video just to get uh, back in you know shape and i am nowhere near ready for this what the hell is this room all right yeah that's mostly uh 
the gist of it. We do have the crossbow as well, which we might maybe should use. Probably keep it for the boss though. Let's see. Ooh, a black chest. That's very good. What did we get? Particulator, strange matter. I don't think I've had this gun before. Initial burst of exotic particles triggers additional homing blasts. Weapon from the future. Alright. That's a very good get. Uh, just in case you aren't familiar, there are two chests slash item rooms per floor. Um, and, you know, there are different kind of chests that you can get. Um, the brown one is like the weakest one, like the, the, the trashiest one. Then there is the blue one, then there is like... Um, um, the green one, then there are the red chests, which start to get like pretty solid items, then there is the black chest that we just got, which is very good, and then after that there is like the rainbow chest, which is, you know, exceptionally rare, like 0.2% chance, there is this shop as well, to uh, get some of that, and uh... gives you like multiple items and passes as well and then there is like the glitch chest which is even rarer which actually teleports you to a like a boss fight and um, if you beat it it gives you even more items so this is a blue uh, brown chest this is like the um, you know shittiest chest that you can uh, get so I'm gonna reconsider whether or not I'm gonna spend the key on it. If I were playing as the pilot, for example, I would use the lockpick on it. Let me test this gun as well. Oh, oh! I, I, I got hit because I paid attention to the gun. Alright. Um, you can also keep um, the health for later. That's also a new mechanic. I didn't get to showcase it but if you have a surplus of health you can uh, store it in some sort of storage thing and you can grab it at the end of the level and we are at the boss fight bullet king i like the animation so you know you might have seen them multiple times if you have played the game and you might say like why the hell are you not skipping it i personally like the animations Oh, come on, I already took damage. Twice. It's very important to not take damage uh, against, like, the boss. I just dodged right into it. And the reason for that is because if you flawless the boss that is beating it without taking damage, you get an HP up. And that is extremely valuable later on in the game, but we didn't because we are bad, so there's that. Oh, uh, we got that, and the, the fucking thing is in the way of, I think there is some HP over here. There you go, thank you. And we got membrane, green or yellow. I don't think this is a, this is a new one too, or at least I haven't got it before. Uh, fires a splitting burst of mucus. Lovely. Um, one key. I guess we can buy more keys, so let's open it. Now we got the key back. It's not that bad. C4. We should have used blanks to avoid getting damaged. Can be placed and triggered remotely. And this is a secret room. And it gives us a glass... Uh, gunstone and an armor. With 60 left, I think we can buy maybe a key and another armor. We should be fine. I think there are two secret rooms per floor, but I don't know their pattern as well as in um, Binding of Isaac, so I'm very bad at finding them. They're usually, uh, most of the times, they're either uh, next to an item room or next to the shop this is also a new enemy we got it pretty well but it did leave 
behind the bunch of fire. Alright, getting that. Executioner. Just waiting. It's nice and safely. Can use this gun for now. Oh, there's a key. I don't think we're gonna get it. Oh my god, we did get it. That was amazing. Incredibly fast reaction over there. We do have a lot of keys, so we're not. Oh my god. The way it went around the wall really got me over there. Alright, getting the HP is fine. We lost an armor, so it's not that bad. What the hell? Those are some new statues. Just fall down into the hole. Traps, because the game has some platforming elements. A green chest is decent. Not the best, but with three keys I think we can afford to open it. And we got the Proton Backpack, which, you know, it's pretty good. But we don't want to use its ammo if, since we already started using this. We have the Prime Primer, which we will not be able to buy, a key, the Gun Muncher. There's a Sniper. This is also a new enemy, this Spider thingy. Got him. Ah, got this. Oh. Yeah, basically it all uh, comes down to learning to dodge and... Um, learning to dodge, the, uh, learning the patterns of the attacks, learning to shoot and learning to dodge better. It's not really much that I can do. Um... You know, people are apparently split in their opinion on which game is harder. Like, in my opinion, Gungeon is harder than, uh... Um... Oh, I got hit. I didn't even see the, the thing. Um, let me switch it up. Ooh, got an entire HP. That was pretty good. Like, in my opinion, Enter the Gungeon is, uh... Ow. Way harder. Ooh, a chest. Just a regular brown chest, but with not... without any key. Uh, they, they, because you just don't have that many passive upgrades and... Um... Even those that you do have, you get them pretty rarely. Uh, the snowballer is quite okay. It freezes the enemies, so it makes them slower. So I think it's a pretty decent room clear, since we all ran out of ammo on this one. The membrane. So we're gonna use this for the room. Like, we can just leave them as that. Or I think you can even dodge into them when they are frozen. Uh, it won't kill them. Oh, that was just... Yeah, you can fall down. And I took damage. That was just extremely bad in my part. You know, for me, if I make it to the third floor, that's good performance as far as I'm concerned. But, yeah. I just really need to learn to play... Not, uh, not much else that I can do about it. But yeah, in my opinion, um, Isaac is much more forgiving, you know. Now obviously I'm way better at Isaac, I know a lot more of its secrets. But the thing is that even in this game, if I knew, like, uh, let's say, what all the items did and what all the um, 
item synergy is war and even if i knew all the secret room locations i don't think that would give me that much of an advantage to win this is like a partial ammo refiller it refills the ammo partially for all the guns so um it's a pretty good uh, get and we got the blue chest which is not that great but we're gonna open it and i think this is a passive you've been had infuriating note what if you keep pushing through i'll have to try harder so rats off to you um this is one of the um, i have seen people playing it before this is one of the passive items that you use to um find the location um of the of the rat you know because it's not uh, it's not a straightforward uh, as straightforward as uh, it is to get to it you have to like it's it's a basically a puzzle that you have to go like a labyrinth and if you mess it up you just skip the floor um but yeah we could use the gun muncher give it some of our, the guns that we have and get us something else but i don't think we need to what is the proton backpack just because you just set it and forget it and we got the amaconda just fought it before i wish i had the um, the um, beholster just so i could um complete a quest that i had you want to destroy those so it doesn't eat it i already took damage oh, i blanked after taking damage which is even worse Ah, he's gonna get it. Proton backpack, as you can see, very uh, powerful little weapon here, but it doesn't help if you're just not good at the game. We did better. We did better than in the first boss fight, I think. We took less damage. And we got ammo, and we got, I think... Uh, yeah, the throne. It gives us the ability to fly and it shoots bullets when you dodge. So it's a pretty good get as far as item goes. What's this? The Gun King Greaves. Well, we're not going to be able to get that. And we haven't flawless the first floor, so we can't do any progress on the quests there. So what we can do is we can look for maybe a secret room. Hmm, not here, huh? Mm, I don't have much hopes. Then it's maybe here. Nope. Yeah, I'm out of ideas. Oh, uh, I don't know what gun to use. Maybe I should use the proton backpack and leave the this one for the boss fight i don't know oh yeah we still have the this one the snowballer we'll use this i guess we can fly now so this is amazing no need for platforming what you have this nah thanks i don't need your cheap ass cards i can fly love his gun is still going i got an extra key i got a lot of keys so uh chests shouldn't be a problem for us so we should only focus on you know perfecting our play and dodging skill most mostly I can just hold, I don't know why I keep clicking. I can just hold it clicked. Ah, oh, come on, these bullets take so long to disappear. Alright, getting it, getting it, very good. 
clear it all the way over here. Would love more HP. Oh, almost shot myself over there by shooting the explosive. And this is why, you know, extra HP by flawlessing the early bosses is very good. The way I won is basically I managed to flawless the first three bosses. You know, the, the bosses for the first three floors. I don't know how I did it. Don't, don't ask. I am not able to replicate that anymore, but I did manage to do it. I did have... I need to remember... Ooh, this is... We can unlock something with this key. I do remember, like, finding something... Oh, this is a challenge. Um... Sure, we can bet on that. We have to finish the room without taking damage. Let me get out my proton backpack. Uh, this enemy. No, don't you dare spawn. Ah, fucker. Alright. Okay, okay, hey, we did it. Alright, it wasn't that hard. Alright, and it gave us bouncy bullets, which has a synergy with the membrane, obviously, because the membrane bullets already bounce. So you can see, you know, it shows you with the synergy, which, which one has synergy with. Oh, bullets gain ricochet. So what? What would this? Does it ricochet multiple times or? Oh, I remember this. Um, I think this is like a um, mob trap room. It basically uh, spawns a bunch of enemies, and if you manage to beat them, you win. I don't know something. A reward of some sorts. I just don't feel I have the HP necessary to beat that. Wow, the mm, sh this shotgun with the bouncy bullets is pretty good. This chest doesn't seem to be a mimic, and we get another passive. Blanks poison. Blanks have a chance to poison enemy. It's pretty good, but not that amazing. And over here we've unlocked these guys. Oh, hey buddy, you set me free. I never thought I'd escape from this cell. Anyway, I'm Tonic. Tonic the Sledge Dog. Look for me up in the bridge if you ever want to go a little faster. Ugh. Sure. And this is like the little uh, puzzle that you need to bring like gunpowder. Um, in order to uh, complete the bullet that kills the past. We'll try it. I don't think we'll be able to do it, but might as well, right? Actually, uh, since we have the ability to fly, the easier one would be the, the cap, I think. But I think we can grab that too, actually. We're empty. That was just bad. Oh, we got extra ammo over here. Ah, the dog got it. Good doggy. Give me that. Hey! And another chest over here. Giving, giving us the hammer. Not the best weapon ever. No secret room. And we have... This guy who sells stuff for keys, which is actually very good with us, but... Chest, chest an anatomy. I think this increases the chance that destroying chest gives us better things. Brick of cash tells us where the secret rooms are. Lament configurum. I don't know what that is. So, you know, we're gonna... Oh, it's an active item. I didn't know that. Fuck. Beautiful melodic tunes as it is solved. Who knows what mysterious wonders this contains. 
We're gonna leave that behind. It's a cursed item too, which is just lovely. There is a curse in this game. There are certain items which are considered to be more powerful, but you, as you um, uh, get them, it fills up curse, which increases the chance that you get, you know, mimic chests and jammed enemies and other stuff like that. So we have HP and keys, but they are more expensive. Uh, trying to look for the secret room. We have brick of cash, so that will be able to show us where it is. We just have to look for it. Uh, it might take a little while, but time is something that we afford right now. It over here? No. It's basically just to do. Wow, someone is screaming outside. Just basically a dude that is pointing uh, to a wall. That's how you recognize it. There has to be some. I doubt there are floors without secret rooms. I love how the game went silent on me as well. Like, you know what? You don't need any music. Break of cash, where are you? Seriously though, where are you? It's not here, although it does look like it. Hmm. I don't think I ever saw it in the first room. Which rooms did I not... Have I not been into? It's not here. Oh, dog fell into the water. Again. It's not here. It could be... No? Hmm. We don't have much left in terms of rooms. Oh, there is this room. And the room right after that. Wait, we've been here as well. No, here. No, what? No. Uh, I guess there is the room be below the shop. There is this room too. Okay, let's check over here, I guess. Amazing rate of fire from this gun. It dodged right into that. Um, seriously, no secret room? I'm surprised. I'll buy a red heart just for survivability. There's definitely one, but I'm I, I'm blind. Blind as a bat. Do we want to do the challenge? I don't think so. Okay, let's prepare over here. We'll we play with the membrane. Okay, the cannon Borg is not that bad of an enemy. This is the enemy that I did manage to flawless on that one run that I managed to win. So let's use this. Oh, okay. This gives more enemies. A lot more enemies. Not what I was looking for. What? What hit me? Why? Oh my god, they are bouncing as well. I, I literally did not pay attention to them. And we lost. Lost the fucking cannonball org. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Like I said, not uh, not the best player of this game, but hey, we got four extra hegemony credits, and we did uh, rescue that guy. So let's uh, see if we find him and what he has to say to us. I have no idea where he would be. 
like this shop over here. Then there is this thing. Oh, it's this guy. Like rolling around the city. So I want to go fast. That's not. Uh, you're too slow. Hmm. Okay, so it's definitely another one of those challenge runs. I don't know what it is, so I guess we'll we'll now check it some other time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure you like, subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. What are we going to make? And yes, I do have four hegemony credits here. You can we, you can see them now. Yeah, stopped working. Bye bye.